in general, that is the global replacement. Depending on the, your characteristics of your system, you can decide either local or the global replacement. And the NUMA, I probably the introduced a slightly about the NUMA architecture in case you have the CPU. CPU. Whenever you have the, the multiple CPU, SMP machine, or multi core, so if you have the, if you share the same memory, that is called a symmetrically multiple process. It's not a big problem. Whenever you change the data, it will be accessed by the other. Oh, there's only the synchronization issue. If you solve the synchronization, it's okay. However, the distributed system or the multiple, massive multiple processing system, the memory. So this is the problem. So if you update the data in this CPU, and this is one, but this is still all the data. So you, you need to synchronize that is overhead between the two memory. One solution is you can put the memory channel, which is the fastest the, the uh, device between the memory. Okay? Faster than the fiber. Okay? Very, very expensive. This one. Okay? Still latency. So another solution we ignore is a shared nothing, so, but it cannot be the general solution. So NUMA architecture suggests this CPU can access the, this memory, this one. However, when you access the, the data from the memory dedicated to the another CPU, it will be slower. Okay? You need to admit that. However, the, by designing your application and the operating system, you can keep the, as much data as possible for the local, not local the dedicated the memory. But in case you need to access the, this one, the data in the other, it will take a longer time. That is the, the idea of the NUMA non-uniform memory access. Okay? It's uh, proposed by the IBM nowadays, the, many of the such a uh, shared not being controlling system use the such a thing. Okay. The threshing means, is, uh, I introduced the last time. So let's say that we need a five the pages, the virtual memory, the virtual memory pages, five program. But we have the four page frame, which means for each loop iteration, we need to select, we need to select the victim page. So happen a lot of the page four because of the characteristic of the, this program. So this is called the dressing, which means that suddenly the CPU utilization is dropped, which means a lot of page fault happen. That happened a lot in our the, uh, the system also. So to address, the, to address the, this one, so we can consider kind of a locality. Locality means it's, uh, the page Pages in the same from the same program will be worked together. It's a locality. So you can now let's see to understand such a thing. So this is a time. Okay? This is the memory address. Lower address, higher address. Then the which page is being used, which means in the page frame. Okay? Then you can see the Group of the page access and group. Group. This one is not used, but certain times used. You can find such a group of pages together. Make the locality. Then you can the load this one together into the memory with page frame. So that is the idea for the locality. That is called the walking set model. Walking set model, as you can see, there might be pattern of accessing the pages. So if we can find such a pattern, of, then we will allocate together into the memory instead of to avoid the dressing. So this is a workstation model. So by analyze the page fault rate, 
So we can find it. So which means if we suddenly increase, suddenly increase. So this is kind of the working cell model. So we will keep the page, pages, in other words, program together into the page frame to reduce the, this one. So we can find the, such a working cell model from the, this uh, the graph also. Also, we can use the memory map, the file. Memory map file is when we read the data uh, from the hard disk drive, so we allocate the specific page for the file, data file. So then, the, this is the dedicated when the number of process read the data, or the, this process, this process, the shared, like the shared library. Shared library is already mapped to the specific page frame. So then the, we can the, avoid the page for it. This one will be dedicated to the such a shared, for example, shared library. Okay. I'm going to skip the example of the operating system. There are several issues we need to consider for the page management. So one is the, the pre-paging. So to avoid the beginning of the uh, page, so we have a number of page for it, right? What if we pre-upload, pre-assign the page frame to the page, the uh, process virtual memory, then we can avoid. So when the user, before user click the execution, then pre-upload, that is called the pre-page. And the page size, always the size of the such I.O. unit is uh, Critical. So, bigger is the better. But if you have the bigger size of memory, your internal the the fragmentation will be increased. So, mostly it's a 500 <laughs> well, by the same as the operating system block size. But the depending on your characteristic, may be different. TLD, do you remember the uh, table lower side the buffer? It's a kind of a cache of the page table. Okay. I already mentioned about the programming structure. In terms of programming, so you can avoid such a lot of page for it. Okay, so that is end of the page, D, either chapter nine. Do we have a time for? No. <laughs> oh, so it's a three minutes. So we will have the quiz on uh, the Thursday. I think we have, so maybe next week. Okay, next week, so next week, the next class on Thursday, we will have the lecture for the chapter 10, IO, then the followed by the uh, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, so there's no Thursday. quiz on Thursday. No quiz on Thursday? No quiz on Thursday, okay. because we have the uh, exercise lab as well as the briefing of the uh, project. So next week, we will have the quiz of the, did we have the quiz for chapter 8? Yeah. Yes. But then chapter 9. Thank you.